Uh, I've been seeing it for a long time, but certainly it was time to act. So I am here a little late in the game, but present. I think we, what we need to do is we need to get back, we need to, to get the country back from this social nightmare that we're facing. And to do that, I think we need to send somebody to Washington that understands what that's about, that understands that what responsibility truly means, somebody that's not influenced by the political atmosphere that's in Washington now that's controlled by lobbyists. I really do think we need to do that. Who, who are the politicians right now that we send? And I have to admit, I've been guilty of it. I did not go to college and run around with, you know, smoking weed and doing that. I was working, running a business. I, I, so I've been registered into the University of Life for the last 32 years. So for me, I learn every day, I read every day, and I have elected politicians hoping that they would be academic scholars or lawyers perhaps that would know how to represent me in, uh, in, in, in Congress. No, we need somebody that knows what it feels like to be us. Somebody that has looked somebody in the eyes and said, I have to lay you off. Somebody that has run into a fire in a home and saved a life and put out a fire. Somebody that's had to, to, to walk up to a car window and ask for a driver's license, not knowing if they're going to be shot that night. We need us. We need people like us in Washington to represent us. People that know what it feels like to be us. So this is why I'm here before you tonight. This is why, as your representative in Washington, I would give you that voice. I believe that we would establish a communication like we've never seen. We would take our country back. So I want to say thank you all for being here tonight. Thank you for giving me this opportunity. God bless you all, and God bless America.